now we will go to the GUI utility web based uh, for open filer and configure our SAN storage so you can notice we are going to the website uh, the username will be open filer and the default password is just password Now first thing we'll do is go to services tab and we are going to use iSCSI target server so we will enable this option and now if you notice iSCSI target server is enabled next thing we'll go to is the system option and here we can see our two ethernets are configured we will add our rack server nodes with their private IPs now net mask is by default 255 255 all the way 255 which is a requirement for open filer once we click update that track so node 1 is added we will add rack 2 node with its private IP and netmask again is 255 255255255 we'll hit update again to add rack to node now what we're doing here is specifically network access configuration meaning these two nodes will be allowed to see the SAN storage from open file or server next thing we'll do is go to volumes here we can see it is all new so we'll create a new physical volume and remember we had two hard drives 10 GB hard drive is used for the OS we'll use the second one for SAN storage now if you see we don't have any partitions on this we'll create a new physical volume for the entire 40 GB available we'll hit create so now we are creating a physical volume of 40 GB on the SDB second drive which we'll use as the SAN storage now we'll go to the volume groups we'll create a new volume volume group so we'll call it as rack storage add the 40 GB to this volume group and we will create you can see here we have a volume group named as rack, rack store which has a 39.97 GB we'll go to add volume so for this volume group we will create a new volume 
and we'll call it as OCR for storing OCR files. We'll make it a 2 GB disk or a SAN disk and we'll call it a, we'll make it a IceKC type file system. So in this volume group rack store, we'll create two more volumes. Next one will be for data. We'll just call it as data one, which we'll be using for storing the Oracle databases. We'll make it a 10 GB partition or a volume. And again, this is type IceCASI. Now we'll add one more volume for this volume group. And this is for FRA, flash recovery area or fast recovery area. We'll call it as FRA1. We will create this as another 10 GB volume and it is of type IceCASI. Now if we review, we have a volume group called Rack Store and we have three volumes on it which are OCR, data and FRA. Now next thing we'll set up is IceCASI targets. We'll create a new IQN we'll call it as IQN.openfiler a colon OCR at the end we'll create three new IceCASI targets which will be one for OCR, one for data and one for FRA we'll start with OCR first Now we'll create the new IQN for data. We'll add one more IQN for FRA. Now if you notice we have three OCR data and FRA. We're changing it to OCR so we can configure the OCR IQN if you look on top we have other options like network ACL basically what we are doing is for this OCR IQN we are allowing both rack nodes to uh, allow access now going back to the target configuration, we'll change it to data1 and we'll do the same thing on the network ACL tab. Uh, what we're doing again is we are allowing both the rack nodes to write to this particular IQN. We'll go back and do that same thing for FRA. We are giving the IceCASI target uh, we are allowing both our rack nodes to write to this IQN or access to this IQN.
now we will go back to the OCR uh, iSCSI or IQN and if we go to the learn mapping we will <coughs> allow or map uh, the OCR learn to the OCR IQN so what we have done here is uh, we just associated the IQN with the storage drive we created that volume earlier now we'll do the same thing for data we'll go to learn mapping select the IQN as data and we'll go to the learn mapping and we will select the data one volume map it so you can see it is mapped uh, data one is mapped to the IQN data we'll do the same thing for FRA select the FRA IQN and go to the learn mapping and map the FRA volume now we have completed open filer configuration with this we can start uh, using the storage